Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're just before Mardi Gras season. Uh, I figured I'd share with you a recipe that I've done around this time of year with uh, crab cakes. This is going to be my version of a crab cake. It's basically a Maryland style crab cake and it's going to be smashed in with uh, seasonings from Louisiana. Uh, we're going to do this just before Fat Tuesday. We're going to make a spicy Creole French remoulade sauce to go with it. Uh, we're going to cook this in a French technique style. We're going to saute it and we're also going to uh, make a panade, which is going to be the filler slash binder of this crab cake. Here I'm dicing up some shallot, celery, and I'm going to be using red bell pepper instead of green. The onion, celery, and pepper is the Louisiana version of uh, the French mirepoix, and it is called a trinity. Uh, they like to use green bell pepper. Uh, the way a green bell pepper tastes for me when you saute it, I don't like the flavor. Uh, I like the uh, sweeter less bitter flavor of either the red or yellow pepper so i'll choose either of those before green and basically what i take is a little bit of butter and i'll saute it with the old bay uh some thyme uh basically salt and pepper and i just want to break down and give a little quick uh caramel flavor to the onion celery and shallot it also tends to bring out a little more sweetness in the shallot and a little less of the bitter onion when you mix it into the crab cake you don't want to cook it too long either it's only possibly two and a half minutes on medium heat. Uh, just enough to get everything a little bit translucent, like I said, and just to, it'll help reduce the bitterness. The butter I'm adding here is just so it doesn't stick to the pan. I don't want the pan was a little too hot. I wanted to keep it moist. Uh, and just having a little bit extra butter for richness is never going to hurt anything. Except my, maybe my cholesterol count. Uh, I'm going to start making the uh, filling for the uh, crab cake. It's actually the binder. Uh, I'm going to be taking the egg mayonnaise. And I'm going to use some Ritz crackers and... Uh, breadcrumbs and I'm going to be seasoning it with the hot sauce Worcestershire and a few other items so what I'm basically trying to emulate with this panade is almost a custard is what I'm trying to go for uh, with the egg, a little bit of the milk, the bread type products, and the rich crackers. What its purpose is, it's going to help me to keep the moisture inside of the crab cakes. When I saute it, this is a recipe I use for, I do, I do not like baking my crab cakes. I am a either pan sear it or saute it. In this recipe, I'm going to pan sear it on my cast iron skillet. Uh, it'll keep it uh, moister, like I said. But also, when you pan sear it and you or, and or you saute it in a pan, you are going to get a nice uh, caramel type of flavor and the golden brown color on the crab cake it's just going to look like a more finished product in my in my eye and what i've sold in many restaurants throughout my career uh this is one i've taken with me i've adjusted this recipe for to do different things i've also used uh, a basic part of this recipe and i've done a couple different things to make like uh fried uh, crab balls for appetizers, uh, for hors d'oeuvres, that kind of thing. Uh, it just depends how you want to serve it and what you're pairing it with. I've done many different sauces, uh, dill sauce, 
lemon sauce, hot, cold, uh, you name it. It just depends on where I've been working and how I wanted to approach it. And also the time of year as well. So what you saw there was actually another technique I was didn't think to say. But when you see me with the rubber spatula, I'm not actually mi mixing it up with a whisk. You're actually trying to fold it and pretending it would be uh, fluffed up egg whites. You, do, you, you don't want to break apart the crab meat as, uh, to find little crumbs because the crab is very delicate. So I'm just basically trying to incorporate everything and mix everything together. You see I'm kind of just folding it over. Uh, even so, the lump crab meat that I'm using does tend to fall apart. So the less mixing you can do, the better. And again, you always want to taste, make sure everything is appropriately seasoned, not over seasoned or under seasoned. If you're hesitant about it with eggs, I've eaten raw eggs my whole life. I don't uh, condone it or say you should do that. It just doesn't bother me. I'm not worried about any kind of salmonella um, in that respect. If it bothers you, you can take it and just actually put it in a saute pan and quick sear it. Make sure it tastes well, and that way you don't have to worry about raw egg. Uh, I put the mixture, crab mixture, into the small bowl because I didn't have room in my refrigerator, so I wanted it to stay chilled while I made the remoulade sauce. And basically a remoulade sauce is uh, a caper, a type of uh, pickle, onion, mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard. Uh, I brought it to a Creole, Louisiana style, using a smoked paprika. I used the uh, horseradish Creole mustard and the rest of the traditional French remoulade seasoning. And that was my sauce. You could do it instead of using mayonnaise as well. You could actually make your own aioli. I was thinking about it on this recipe, but uh, I didn't have the time with trying to film everything and get everything right. It's it, I'm trying to balance the best of both worlds, filming and making the recipe. So uh, maybe in a future episode, I'll show you how to make an aioli as well. But you could go that route if you totally wanted to dress this up instead of using a store-bought mayonnaise. Right here, I got the butter golden brown. Uh, it's probably just below medium high heat. Uh, you Once you get the crab cake on the pan, you do not want to move it until you're ready to flip. I leave the crab cake on the pan probably at least a minute, minute and a half before I decide to flip it. Just like anything, the first side is generally going to be your presentation side when you are thinking about it in the view of a chef from a restaurant. So you want to make sure you don't rip the face side. The second side almost never tends to come out like that initial first contact in the pan. It just never does. Well, here you have it. This is the... Uh, pan seared crab cakes uh, just in time for uh fat tuesday uh, we brought it together to meet the louisiana flavors of the trinity the spicy remoulade from uh uh to take away from the french and bring it down to the, our creole cousins down there in new orleans uh hope hopefully this gives you uh a little appetite to try and make some crab cakes at home it's really not that difficult uh, you can see the technique. It's basic, pure, and simple. Uh, if you just give it a time and a little attention, you can have crab cakes that are nice and tasty. Uh, as you'll see here in a little bit, breaking it apart, uh, you'll see how nice and rich and moist it is. I did finish it in the oven for about five minutes. Well, for those of you that stuck with me through the end, I really appreciate you hanging out and learning how I try and do different recipes. Um, I appreciate it. I'm going to go in and watch the Super Bowl now and uh, 
thank you very much. You guys have a good uh, Mardi Gras.